Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Henry Clay Stalk Cut. Uh, I've been smoking Henry Clay cigars for years, and I really love their regular line and their Honduran version as well. This is the newest release from Altatus who's kind of uh, given the Henry Clay line a little kick in the pants. Uh, features a stalk cut Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. It is a uh, Dominican Piloto binder and a mix of Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. So it should prove to be a pretty rich tasty smoke. Uh, it's got an unfinished foot See that this is the Toro 6x54. It's the uh, Henry Clay logo and then a fancy black and chrome band. And the lower band says stalk cut. So, interested to try these out. Let's give it a cut. Light it up. Cold draw is kind of chocolatey, molasses type of flavor to it. I like these unfinished foot cigars. Uh, that bunched up tobacco in the end usually gets a nice start to the cigar. Wow. Very strong leather flavor. A little cedar in there, some spice on the finish. As is typical on the firing up of this type of a cigar. Uh, hmm, very pronounced. on that leather. Mm. Quite tasty. Alright, I'm going to smoke the first third, see what happens. I'll be back. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area with the Henry Clay stalk cut. I failed to mention earlier, this is a box pressed cigar. It's box pressed square. Very nicely shaped. You can see the ash is holding on about an inch and a quarter here. Perfect burn flavors uh, the leather and the spice on the finish have continued and there's a nice coffee tone in there as well and a little bit of underlying chocolate the spice on the finish is a black pepper it's very nice nice smoking cigar tons of smoke tastes great Extra spice, extra spicy on the retro hail. I like it. I'm gonna work into the second third, and I'll be back with the results. All right, welcome back with Henry Clay stock cut. Um, Flavor-wise, pretty much the same in the second third as the first. I uh, was hoping for a little more complexity. I uh, was hoping for a little more from the stalk cut wrapper. Stalk cut, if you don't know, stalk cut Connecticut broadleaf is where they cut 
the entire stalk of the tobacco and hang it in a barn to dry and what by cutting the whole stalk all the nutrients from the stalk come down into the leaves to give more flavor more uh, complexity to the flavor uh, this works really well for the stalk cut wrapper on the Drew Estate Liga Privadas. Um, in my opinion, it's not working quite as well for the Henry Clay. If you're a Henry Clay smoker, you know the original Henry Clay is a nice, spicy cigar. It's strong. It's got uh, pretty much a rich coffee flavor and a nice black pepper spice on the finish all the way through from beginning to end. It's a pretty strong, potent, tasty, spicy cigar. And to add another, a different variety after having something like that, and then have that be less than what the original is, it's kind of a letdown for me. Now, granted, it's a good tasting cigar. There's leather, there's coffee, there's chocolate, there's spice. It, it does taste very good. Um, if you're a Henry Clay fan and you're expecting this to be, oh, wow, flavor bomb more than the original Henry Clay or even the Honduran, my taste buds aren't picking it up. Uh, it is good, but as I said, it's not, not like the original. I'm going to take the bands off at this point. Um. Sucker's pinned down there tight. There we go. Take the bottom band off anyway. Ash is holding on nicely. Holds on for about an inch and a quarter or so before it drops off. Like I said, it's it's pretty consistent from the beginning with that same flavor profile, coffee, leather, underlying chocolate, black pepper spice. It's not exceptionally strong. It's a medium body, maybe leaning toward medium full at best. But I'm going to work my way into the final third here and see if anything changes. Hopefully it does. Sometimes you get to that third third and... Uh, things pick up a little bit that's what I'm hoping for but we'll find out be back all right welcome back to the cigar area with the Henry Clay stock cut well into the final third here flavor did change a little bit the uh, that chocolate dropped off and was replaced by a, a woody uh, burnt charcoal wood flavor Still some leather, coffee, still the black spice, pepper on the finish, but uh, the sweetness is going away. It's a, it's a little more tart and bitter now toward the end. Um, I'm going to give the Henry Clay stock cut a 9 out of 10. It's a good cigar. Okay, uh, only a nine because of the flavors. Um, and this is just my personal opinion. I expected, maybe I expected too much from this being a long time Henry Clay smoker. Uh, I just expected when they added a new cigar to the line, it was going to be something really spectacular. And it is a good cigar. It's medium, medium to full. Uh, and as I said, we had flavors from the beginning. Leather, uh, coffee, chocolate, black pepper spice. And now it's finishing up with a woody charcoal flavor. 
it's flavorful it's a good cigar um, but if you're a Henry Clay fan and you're expecting uh, a, a step up flavor bomb you might be disappointed with this one um, but all in all it's a, it's a pretty good smoke burn nice perfect burn all the way through no touch ups it's just well made cigar as Henry Clay's have always been and it is very tasty now I want to put in a note here um, I've said in some of my other videos you know I, I do re reviews for regular guys who are looking to maybe find out something about a cigar before they dump the money into it um, and I, I generally rate the smokes pretty highly you know 8 of 10, 9 of 10, 10 of 10 um, if you watch these videos and, and you have any suggestions or ideas on how I can do this better or make a, uh, a better video for you, please let me know, you know, put, put some comments in there or, uh, you know, come on to the cigar area .com, send me an email, uh, cause I want to do this the best I can for you who are watching. But uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm Mike Simmons. This is The Cigar Area. Please do check out my website, thecigarareria.com. Enter the contest there. Just send me an email. And uh, giving away something every month. And uh, once again, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to you know, speak out. I appreciate any feedback, good or bad good especially but you know <laughs> okay so until next time happy smoking talk of fish cleave cream this season all I'm left with is a breeze doesn't even reach my knees is too much in this world for free.